वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन मोर एग्जाम्पल डेट इज एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू इसके एज द पोलर प्लॉट फॉर द फॉलोइंग फंक्शन डेट इज गिवन एज जी ऑफ एस इक्व टू वन ओवर एस इन टू एस प्लस वन सो फॉर प्लॉटिंग द पोलर प्लॉट वी हैव टू फॉलो ऑल द फाइव स्टेप्स मूविंग ऑन टू द स्टेप नंबर वन That is determination of open loop transfer function. Since open loop transfer function is already given in the question, that is, g of s equals to one over s into s plus one. So now step number one is completed. Moving on to the second step. That is step two. So. we have to find g of j omega for finding g of j omega we have to replace s with j omega put s equals to j omega so g of j omega will now become 1 over here s value is replaced with j omega that is j omega in bracket j omega Plus one. So this is the value of g of j omega. Moving on to the third step. That is calculation of magnitude. So the magnitude that is mod of g of j omega is equals to. tan in that is under the root here imaginary part is 0 so 0 square plus 1 square divided by this imaginary part that is under the root omega square plus there is no real part for the first term so we will write 0 here after this here imaginary part is omega square after this 1 square so mod of g of j omega will now become 1 divided by this omega square under the root will become omega only and this term will become 1 plus omega square so this is all about magnitude calculation moving on to the step number 4 that is calculation of phase angle that is angle of g of j omega so angle g of j omega is nothing but equals to tan inverse of numerator here in the numerator no imaginary part is present so we write tan inverse of 0 and here the real part is nothing but 1 only after that we have to write tan inverse for the denominator form and for the denominator we have to put negative sign firstly then we write tan inverse of this term that is omega and since it it has no real part that's why we write zero here after this we write again negative sign because it is in denominator after this we write tan inverse then omega is a imaginary part and it is real part 1 so angle of g of j omega will become tan inverse 0 is nothing but equals to 0 minus tan inverse of infinite is nothing but equals to 90 degree and minus tan inverse of omega so final expression for phase angle is equals to 
माइनस टेन टी माइनस टेन इनवर्स ऑफ ओमेगा सो दिस इज द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर फेज एंगल दिस इज द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर मैग्नीट्यूड and this is our g of j omega value so moving on to the step number 5 that is formation of table and calculation of magnitude and phase angle for the various values of omega so this is the table we divide it into three sections this is the value for omega this is the value for mod of g of j omega this is the value for phase angle that is angle of g of j omega this is first value that is omega equals to 0.0 this is second value that is omega equals to 0.2 थर्ड वैल्यू डेट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फोर्थ वैल्यू डेट इज वन फिफ्थ वैल्यू डेट इज फाइव सिक्स वैल्यू डेट इज टेन एंड फाइनली ओमेगा इक्वल्स टू इनफाइनाइट सो For all these values of omega, we have to find out magnitude and the phase angle. So, by the help of scientific calculator, I did this all the calculation already. So, filling this table, we get if you find this value from the scientific calculator by the technique that i discussed in the earlier lectures then you will find out exactly all these values that i write here so moving on to the step number 6 that is plotting of the polar plot so here is 0 degree or 360 degree here is 90 degree or minus 270 degree here is minus 180 degree or plus 180 degree here is 270 degree or minus 90 degree so these all are the four quadrants in which we will plot our polar plot <laughs> from the observation of this table we can say that our polar plot will starts from minus 90 degree and and ends minus 180 degree so in which quadrant our polar plot will lie so here is the minus 90 degree and here is minus 180 degree so in between minus 90 degree to minus 180 degree our polar plot will lie so in the third quadrant our polar plot will lie after this from the magnitude calculation we can say that at omega equals to 0 it value will be somewhere around infinite and at omega equals to infinite <coughs> its value will become zero so this is the zero at origin now let us draw all these angles so first angle is minus 90 degree that is here second is minus 101 that will be somewhere around here 
minus 101 third is minus 116 that will be near here third is minus 135 this will be minus 135 degree next is minus 168 so minus 168 will be here after that minus 174 it will be here minus 174 so this is all about the plotting of phase angles and finally minus 180 this is here after this we have to plot the magnitude so starting from omega equals to 0, 0.0 that is at infinite so infinity can be taken at any point after this so we can skip it after this at omega equals to 0 0.2 it will be like at 4.90 so 4.90 will be like here it is 4 we assume that it is 4.90 so it is here after that its magnitude is reducing to 1.78 that is here 1.78 after this it will again reduce to 0 0.70 then 0 0.03 then 0 0.0092 finally reaches to 0 and we can assume that at minus 90 it will be here that is infinite so our polar plot will like look like this curve which will reach to 0 following this path it starts from omega equals to 0 from this point and then that's omega equals to infinite so this is the complete polar plot thank you